art school with like no one caring about what I looked like. I just I guess I really like made use of that opportunity. I mean vulnerability like is bravery. Like when you're so accepting of the fact that you're like just out there. I think that they're sort of the same thing in a lot of ways, but how that plays into my wardrobe, I guess. I definitely dress to be like perceived as stronger and like, more masculine sometimes. Everything I wear is kind of vulnerable and that's like how I'm showing that I'm, you know, feeling strong. Pretty much everything I'm wearing right now is from a long time ago, except for the belt. The belt's a newer addition to my wardrobe, but this coat is from freshman year and it was my first fur coat and now I have like a big thing for big furry coats so it's definitely spurred like a whole trend in my wardrobe. And then this necklace I got in Florida in the Key West when I was like five or six and I just rediscovered it. And then this dress I got in middle school, probably like seventh grade at a vintage shop in Austin, Texas and my mom got it for me. And it only like just started fitting during high school, so yeah, very nostalgic look. Pretty much anything inspires me, honestly. Like I don't think you can consciously decide what makes its way into your subconscious. But in terms of individuals, definitely like people in New York, like a few, um, well, many decades ago, like Jagger, Bowie, you saying the wrong like Andy Warhol like that crowd of like really feminine androgynous men in New York who are all artists is pretty much like the most because there's just like so much variety within that group. I guess I don't really dress in any certain way to like prove my gender or my sexuality. In terms of sexuality it's more I'll dress in a way that I perceive to be attractive or like masculine, but even then I'm not very focused on like <laughs> finding a partner or anything right now, but in terms of my gender expression, it's kind of like I don't really try very hard to like dress masculine necessarily, it's just whatever I'm in the mood for. Style is so much more than what you wear, it's kind of what you stand by and just like who you are as a whole. So as long as you're like a compelling individual with intention and at least some level of creativity, I think that's pretty much the only credential. Mm -hmm.